Hello, welcome back. I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And today we're jaw jacking Jaw-jacking with Jarhead and Ginger. And friends, we have the Chris's with us today. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> Let me tell you about how we met the Chris's. One day we were coming into the park and I had already come the previous day and found the perfect spot because it, has, it had a, a view where we could drop down the patio, sit out there and see the lake. Um, so we're pulling in and we see some people outside of the RV in that spot. And so they're messing with the steps and I said, look, they're leaving. And I was all excited and Scott said, uh, maybe they just got here. So I get out of the truck and I said, are y'all leaving? And no. no. <laughs> and I said, oh man, I wanted that spot. <laughs> All right, y'all have fun. <laughs> that's not yeah, exactly. Okay, that's not exactly, <laughs> that's not exactly what she said. No. <laughs> she jumped out and asked if we were leaving and we said no. And she said, you got my spot. <laughs> have you ever seen a mad redhead? <laughs> <laughs> I was playing. I wasn't mad. I was very disappointed. <laughs> she was about to cry. I was very disappointed. <laughs> no, but... Uh, they uh they only got a couple spots up from us, and yeah. it, it was history from there. Really, I I think so. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about two couples that became friends really quick, immediately. Fast and furious. Yeah. 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 Well, I had we had gone for a walk with the dog, and uh, the we next see day. yeah the next day, and we see their little they have a little sign um, with their name on it. And I I said, oh, we have subscribers that live in the area with that name. And so I looked them up, and, and we were Facebook friends, so I looked them up on Facebook, messaged them, and yeah, it was them. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, you're the one that was hollering at us. <laughs> but, but in the end, that spot is, I would give it to, I wouldn't give it to my best friend, friend, but I wouldn't give it to my enemy. So it'd be like in the lower half of my friends. Down there. So it truly has the best view of any, anyone here. It's the got lake. the sewer lift. It's got a yeah, sewer lift right there. Yeah, you get a there. smell with it. So. Yeah, you get a smell with it, and it's just. You, so, they got, so they got the good view, but also they got the smell. <laughs> yeah. so I think we made out after all. In yeah. The yeah. Because yeah. you'll see, you never see the same person in that spot twice. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. And it's also. Um, we met our first subscribers, but they didn't recognize us first. We recognized them first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that That's was good. Funny. Yeah. So they have a different story than most uh, full timers um, because they're actually doing that four letter word that none of us like to do. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about about how you guys came around to full timing and and what's keeping you from leaving Texas? <laughs> yeah, what's the, what did start us full time? You know you, what? It was a, it was one of those wild hairs that you just get because you start watching YouTube and you're like going, man, I wonder what it's like. I, oh, just, yeah. I don't know. I, just, I mean, we we started off. We went tent camping for one night. <laughs> mm, yeah, it was. Miserable. Then we bought a pop up camper for one year. Then we bought a travel trailer for a couple of years, and. In that travel trailer, you know, we were coming up to a thousand trails and watching YouTube and stuff and all the full timers. I'm like, How can you know what? That'd be, that'd be really cool. Yeah. And uh, so I talked her into it and I mean, we, we dropped a 3,000 square foot house that we had with a pool and And the reason we everything. did it so quickly, because we do still work and we hope to retire shortly but it was it was more like five years and we wanted to fast track it and we thought the best way to do that was to go ahead and eliminate the house eliminate all the stuff get the rv we could live in and then start saving up yeah exactly to save, more. save more money save, save it more faster, faster so that we could retire quicker and yeah and now it's just we can't do it fast enough. Right, and we both we both have full time jobs. She works in downtown Houston. Um, I work for a residential construction company all around Houston. So you know it's we get up at we get up at well she gets up at four o'clock in the morning and you know Oof. we don't get home until Before four in the afternoon. It's one of those deals. And all of our friends that we know that full time. Um, like these two, give us a hard time about that. <laughs> you know work is a four-letter word. <laughs> and it's a 
ugly. Yeah, and it's ugly. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's that's how we got into full time. How difficult was it for you for the downsizing? Or who was it more difficult for? Oh, definitely me. Yeah, not me. Chris could pack a knapsack. <laughs> <laughs> Good to go. Yeah. For me, it was, you know, every item that I've ever possessed. Like, <laughs> oh, you know, it was just, it was hard to let go of stuff. So, yeah. It was the same for her, but she got better as she did it. It yeah. got easier and easier for her, I think. Well, we gave we gave a lot of stuff. We told the kids before we sold it, sold everything. Come and get what you want. Come get whatever you want. Of course, they take all the high end stuff. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. They don't let me sell the high end stuff. They take the high end <laughs> stuff. And then, um, what was hard was when we had a big garage sale, mm -hmm. and people come in and pick over your stuff like it's you know. I mean, like they, they don't even want it. And I'm like, but I paid $35 for that. Right. And they I don't care what you yeah, do for that. Right. They don't care what you do for that. They don't even want it. Right. You know? I'm like, but this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. we're doing <laughs> So I had to let all that go. Yeah. And, that's and, then, and then be done with it, mm -hmm. you know. So. And, and I'll say this. I think over the, the period of downsizing, she cried, physically cried, maybe twice. Men, thing, mentally, mentally she was probably going nuts. I think yeah. a lot of that was stress and, and not so much out of sadness. Right. Now, now we're a little different also than other full-timers because we have a tiny house in Mission. Right. So her prized possessions that she really wanted to keep is in the house. Okay. Rather, rather than home. get a storage unit. Right. right. Yeah. That's great. Doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And, and that's great with like, especially with last year when the COVID hit and everything, everybody was scrambling for a home base. Yeah. And we were talking about going full time back in what, the 90s? Yeah. Back in the 90s, I, my thought was always, you're going to have to have a piece of land to park that sucker on at some point. Yeah. You know, but especially with the COVID now, and so you guys have the home base already built in, yeah, and we, you're already full time, and so yeah, yeah. once you guys retire, it'll just be yeah, icing so, on the cake. Yeah, because I think <laughs> once once we retire, we really won't be full time RVers anymore because we'll travel, you know, through the spring, summer, and fall, and then we'll be at the house, we'll in, at the the, house in the winter. winter. Mm -hmm. So you know, we won't be true full timers. We'll be. I think we'll talk. I think we can talk you into coming out in the winter time. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure, because when we come up here, we're going yeah. wherever, but we, we still have a, a home base there. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. That we call home base, so. That downsizing, though, we <laughs> got out of our house in August, and last night I still had a nightmare about my red dishes. If you um, want to see Aww. what I'm talking about, look at the video that he'll link up here. Um, it was my grandmother's dishes, and Last night, the movers had forgotten them, and, and I didn't want to leave them in Japan because I wanted to bring them and give them to somebody here, and and I kept finding more red dishes all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you guys, more, are, more. did you get all your boxes unpacked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you still have other stuff somewhere else, right? No, we don't have any, we don't have a storage. You don't have any storage or, or no we have boxes, here is no nothing. What we me. have in the RV is what we have. Oh, no, that's true. We do have a couple of tubs that we put at, at friends' houses. We said, if you love us, hold this for us, pretty much. <laughs> One type of person. Yeah. So a couple of people got more because they love us more. And it's not our kids. It's somebody else. Yeah. Said, <laughs> <laughs> no names. <laughs> yeah, no names. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, you know, all our stuff is, if it's not in the trailer, it's at the house. Yeah. And that house is smaller. It, it's... It's not smaller than It's going to be really close because... We have what it's uh, the forty-two foot by nine feet wide, right? But we have three slides. The house is twelve feet wide by forty-two feet long. It has no slides, mm, so it's going close. out it's pretty close footage. to the same square footage. Yeah. So. So when is the planned um, retirement? We can't tell. You can't tell. No, because people will probably be watching or listening. That oh, that's yes. right. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, ah. So, you know. It's a mystery. <laughs> that's true. So when they find out about it next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will tell you. Did we leave the cat out of the bag? <laughs> my, my boss knows pretty much when I'm leaving, and my boss's boss knows pretty much when I'm leaving. So, we'll see. 
They keep teasing me at my office. Every time the Dow drops, they're like, oh, there's another five years. Oh. <laughs> but we're fine because our ultimate plan is to travel for two or three years and then work camp. And oh, yeah. Work camp, oh, three or four months, that gives you enough money to for give us enough money to live on for the rest and of the it's year. It's not really out of necessity, but, you know, it's it's in part something to do right you know and just explore the area that you're in and get to know oh, yeah. people but also use a little supplemental income so you don't have to draw on your savings yeah. you know, right so quickly so that's a good idea yeah. yeah so that's the way that's the way we ended up full-time yeah awesome and she hasn't strength killed me yet that's well that's a plus yeah <laughs> <laughs> almost so, real, real close <laughs> so you went from a tent one night yeah. to a pop up for a year, and now you're in an amazing fifth wheel. Yeah, but you guys have an amazing fifth wheel too. So we it's... do. <laughs> but have you thought about your next? What your next thing's going to be? Or, <laughs> Actually, or if there's going to be a next thing? Oh, there, oh, no, be. there, there is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm very happy with what we have, but I've been thinking about when we do go on the road. Really. We have so much space that we really don't even need. Like our closet's full of work clothes. Oh. We don't need that. <laughs> Once you're done, <laughs> your yeah. closet's going to be empty. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there's just, I feel like there's a lot of space we'll that, that we could downsize more and it would be okay. Yeah. yeah if, if, you know, the, the, our problem, and both of our problems, is that we're, we're both 42 feet long. That knocks us out of... 90% of the national parks, yeah. knocks us out of, of a lot of state parks, stuff like that. So the next one, I don't know, she really likes the fifth wheel, I really like the fifth wheel. I just don't know how you get a fifth wheel small enough with the storage that, that, that you I, need. That I, yeah, that I want. Where if we have a travel trailer that's 36, 38 feet long, now in the back of the, the, back of the truck you can put a camper shell on it. Yeah. And that's all your storage, storage there. back yeah. there. So. Yeah, that's one of those. So you're you're already pretty much set on something new at some point, but you don't know what it's going to be yet. Well, that's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got this one made off yet. <laughs> you probably won't. <laughs> probably won't before it's time to get another one. Oh no. <laughs> well, what's your bucket list destination? Where where's the first place you could get, want to go in your RV? Well, we won't go to the first place we want to go. Because? Because. Oh, know. we can't tell you why. Because then everybody would know. What? That's the whole idea. <laughs> no. Then they'll know about when you're retiring. No, that doesn't oh, okay. mean anything. Okay, go ahead. He wants to go and see his family in Ohio. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because the first place we wanted to go was uh, Washington, because your sister's up there. Uh-huh. But we Stay. wouldn't have enough time to get up there and hang out very long before you have to leave before the cold comes in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. It depends so. on the season we leave. Yeah. Right. Right. That's yeah. Right. yeah. So we figured but, we would go up to yeah. Ohio and. But there are some places I really, really want to go. Just like you guys. Yeah. Right. You know, like every go to national the Flor park. Florida Keys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of the. Um, like you guys are going to Oregon and Washington mm -hmm. and. Oh man, those those are on our list. Too. So stay tuned, right? Don't go anywhere <laughs> because they're gonna video everything. That's right. And then you guys can make that trip with us on on video to Alaska. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We need to do that trip. Absolutely. Yeah, that'll be a together trip. Yeah. <laughs> so we we've seen these guys at the same park that we're in now. What three times now? Yeah. Maybe four. So, yeah, which is means that we've been known each other for three months. Yeah. And like he, like they were saying, obviously became fast friends. We've already made plans down the road to see him some more, uh, and hopefully caravan around, caravan around a little bit. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Getting excited! Uh, there you go. Give you the little wiggles. It's, it's amazing how quickly when um, we were just talking with the Wags um, the other day, Wayward Wags, about how quickly you make friends because when you're at home in your neighborhood. You don't talk to your neighbors. Really. Yeah, you don't when even know your neighbors. <laughs> in the RV park, then, you know, you're, it's a lot easier to strike up a conversation with someone outside because you know you've got so much in common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Huge common ground. Yeah. Yeah. We hit it off so quickly. And now, 
We have to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, because they're here. Later. They're here for another two weeks, and we leave tomorrow. Yeah, and we won't. We we come back uh, on the eighteenth of April. Yeah, and we'll be gone. We're we'll be miss, miss yeah. Each so other. we're gonna miss. Then they leave By before that. Days, so, yeah. yeah. So and you guys won't be back for. Not sure how long. Yeah. Maybe maybe winter. Maybe this yeah. next maybe winter. winter. Yeah. So but we'll see. But. You know, worst case scenario, we'll definitely see you on the road after you retire. Yep, absolutely. In five or ten years. Come on, down. Let's go. No, Nasdaq. Come on, Nasdaq. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Yeah. All right. So they don't have a YouTube channel yet, but where can people find you if they want to see see you guys do some of your stuff? Facebook tripping with the Chris's. Mm -hmm. And Instagram. And as well. Instagram. Instagram's a little slow. We post more on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, tripping with Chris's. There's some Facebook lives, and there's uh, the YouTube YouTube uh, little uh, YouTube channel <laughs> coming out with uh, tripping with Chris's. I've already got it set up. I just got to. We we need to get content in it. Get, yeah, 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 so we're learning from these two. Yes, <laughs> that's a bad yep. idea. Right. No, it's not. <laughs> So go over and check them out on on uh, Facebook at Trippin' with the Chris's. Absolutely, uh, we'd love to have you guys. Yeah, join one of their lives. Give them some encouragement. Tell them to uh, get out there and make some content for their channel, and uh, get that started up. I've I've been telling them. Just, yeah, he just put me one every in. Day. Just put a video out and see what it does. <laughs> that leads to two and three and four, and next yeah, thing you know, it's it does. no hooked. problems. You're yeah, hooked. it does. Yeah, you're so. hooked. All right. Well, if you're still here till the end. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you next time on Jawjacking with Jarhead and Ginger. Bye! Bye. <laughs>